everybody, Jim Hutchison here. I'm the product manager for WYSIWYG and Vivian Event Designer here at Cast Software. I'm here to show you one of the newer product uh, features in Vivian 2012. It's called Camera Paths. And what it does is it gives you the ability to literally fly your client around the room very smoothly, showing them layout and camera texture, or uh, excuse me, layout and uh, uh, surface textures and pretty much anything that you want the client to see you can show them in real time flying around with the camera path. All right, so what we have here is just a simple room, okay? Let's just call it our our little lunchtime uh, banquet for uh, company ABC, however you want to call it, okay? So here it is. Here's our simple little ballroom. You can look at it in a drawing wireframe. So here's our room in plan view, okay? And you're going to notice this line here. This is called a camera path. Now, the way that we draw these, okay, is you go to draw, and you go to camera, and then under here you can draw a camera, camera path, or a camera target. Okay, now the camera path itself is basically the route around the room at which the camera is going to follow. Okay, and then that you don't have to just have the camera follow along the path as you go around. You can actually give it targets to look at as well. These are called, funny enough, camera targets. Okay, here's a camera target. Okay, what, and there's another camera target down here at the buffet. What I've done with my line is I have basically gone around the room, pointed a little bit at the camera, uh, pointed the camera at the buffet, pointed the camera at the center of the ballroom, and just kind of flown around to show the client what it looks like. So here's when I'm just going to start the camera flying. Okay, it's got it swooping around. First couple of things are looking at the buffet as we swoop around, and the last couple of targets, or uh, the last couple of camera uh, target behaviors are looking at the center of the ballroom as we go around. You can also see along the bottom here we have this new thing called the timeline. Now the timeline is basically where we control everything that has to do with the camera path itself when it comes to placement, when it comes to uh, speed, things like that. You can navigate this thing very easily, okay? Play and pause and stop, back and forth between previous and next nodes, okay? Toggle playback direction, we can go the other way if you notice that it just kind of reverses and went the other way around the cab around the room, okay? And we have toggle loop, which if the loop is on, it will continue to loop around as if maybe you had, you know, uh, a client presentation where you were literally just showing them go around and around and, and several people were going to be able to take a look at it as it happened. Okay, there's a couple of new windows to look at here. The camera path editor is one, okay, and you're gonna find this toggleable back with this little uh, icon right here, the toggle camera path editor tool. Okay, toggles on and off. The next one is the toggle timeline tool. We talked a little bit about the timelines down here at the bottom. Okay. Now, if I go back to drawing wireframe, now the camera path itself is literally just a line. And let's just go ahead and draw one. Here you see mine. Uh, these, uh, these little points around the camera path are called nodes, and they literally affect the direction of the camera. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. What we're going to do is draw our own. So we're going to go to draw and go to camera camera path. Click it. Now, as it tells you down here, pick the first point of the line. Vivian is very good at telling you what to do in which order. So we're going to click. And everywhere I click, it's going to place one of these nodes. Okay. So I'm just going to do simple. You'll see that it splines as it, uh, as it goes around corners. This is just to make sure that we don't have any real jagged edges in your, um, in your path around the room. Okay. So here, simple path. When I'm done, I can do one of two things. I can right click, finish camera path, close camera path. I can abort the camera path or remove the last step, which would take me back to around here, my last click. Okay, I'm going to finish the camera path. Okay, now you see that the direction, you see where we start, you see where we end here. Okay, camera path. The camera path itself also has several properties. So I'm going to double click to get my camera path properties here. If I go to general, you see which layer it's on. We're going to move it to the camera layer, okay, because I have one of those, of course. Okay. Now, in the virtual view here, I'll just show you this as you go through. In the virtual view, if I choose camera path 2 and I hit play, you see it's along the floor, and you're also seeing all of these nodes, and you actually see the path. Now, if I were to 
really quickly just go back to drawing wireframe, go here, grab that camera path, and move it straight up a little bit. Okay, go back to virtual view. If I hit play, now you see the path and the actual nodes as we go through them. Now you don't have to look at these. Okay, we can stop this. Obviously, you'd want to stop it. Sometimes it's nice to have these in to give you the ability to sort of tune your path as you go. But what we want to do is we want to just either double click or alt enter. Okay, we want to virtual view options. We just want to show camera path and virtual views. Uncheck that box, click apply, click OK. Here's our camera path. Very simple. I hit play. Here we go. The camera is going to follow that line around. Now here's where we get into the part, the, uh, the use of what we call camera targets, okay? So I'm going to stop my path. Now if you look up here, these are my nodes, okay? Now actually this is camera path too, here we go. These are my nodes. They're all following the path under the camera target uh, behavior here. I'm going to grab them all and I'm just going to tell them to follow the target. The target in this case is going to be the buffet, okay? So when I hit play, it's going to watch this buffet. It's going to fling around here. Okay, now it's going that way along the path. It's going to watch the buffet the entire way around the room as we've drawn the path. Okay, these are what the camera targets are for. And if I had a podium or, you know, a screen I wanted to watch or a singer in a band or watch the drummer or however you want to do it, that's what camera targets are for. You can switch them between nodes. You can, um, you can tell them to have different field angles. You can tell them to go between nodes with different speeds. This is what interval is for. Like for example, we'll just set this one to two. Okay. And we'll watch, we'll go back to node one. Oops, go to node one, we'll hit play. Now you watch, this will take five seconds, but the second node is going to take two seconds. It's going to zip right around. There we go. Zoom. Well, that's it for this time, everybody. I'm Jim Hutchison, product manager for WYSIWYG and Vivian Event Designer here at Cast Software. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.